Hello and welcome back to the tutorials. Technically, this is the first one, but um, doing a you know a revisal. So sub kings, basically. For example, if you have a if you have a public XP farm and your farm uses you know pigs or sometimes you know zombies might spawn with chickens uh, riding chickens like so your customers you know killing them and then suddenly a chicken pops up so let's actually spawn a chicken right now no no mob spawns Hold on. Okay, that was a, a major disappointment. Should get it right now. Nah. Yeah, I just disabled it. Okay, there we go. So as you can see here, I can hit it because I'm the own I'm the owner of the thing. But you, as you can see, can't hit it. Normally you can hit you know um, hostile mobs without needing um, owner's permission. So you can just do it like this, you know, boom. I'm not gonna hit it because I need it. So what you can do is just uh, do type slash and then sub divide claims right here subdivide claim anyone is uh you know anyone works so ah uh, damn it okay but anyways you just have to right click below the area uh you have to just right click on the you know the block under the area where you kill the mobs and you just right click and then right click again if you accidentally uh, do like this or something, you can always just, you know, put it back like this. So it's always one. And then you can, you know, configure it. Let's say you're doing a two by two, you can configure it to two by two. And like that, just back. So let's spawn another chicken. And let's do one more important thing. Type container trust. You can do type public or you can type all. I prefer using all, but you can do either. So let's spawn another one, shall we? So before you could see it didn't work. Now, See, it works. So, basically, what we have here is, um, you know, people are able to, you know, kill their friendly mobs, and they aren't interrupted. This will give them access to the hopper, but giving, but. If you're making a public farm, it's pretty, you know, unless you, unless that's not your intention, then don't, but usually you just, you know, give them uh, access straight away. You know, you'd be A-OK -okay with this. So you can just resize it to, you know, the chest and then they can, you know, access that chest before. And remember, it must be container trust. Uh, builder trust works, but I don't think you'd want them to build at the same time. Container trust is uh, important because, as you can see, if, if we type it without saying all, we can see here, grants the player access to your inventory. Don't worry about that. Inventory means containers, crops, animals, 
bed, buttons, and levers. So yeah, basically that, animals. It's also, it, it's basically like a, you know, like a staff system. It's not like, it's not like, you know, they all have their unique purposes. No, it goes from, uh, as we can see here, it goes from access, uh, access to containers to build. Those in order of, you know, power, you know, how much powers do they have? Manage is, uh, something else. We'll go over that in another tutorial when we're talking about, um, trust stuff so yeah we can have that so basically you can basically you know make this monstrosity and what you can do here is that um so we can let's just set pain flag uh uh no mob spawns again because we won't be needing that anyways you can see here oh right oh yeah you aren't able to i have view containers on but you aren't able to you know take it out As you can see you can try but it won't work so you can just do the same container trust and um dot mind superior and then i already labeled the corners here so yeah Okay, subclaim area. And then, yeah. They can basically, you know, open the chests. They can, oh, there's a glass here. Yeah, yeah. Say you have like this, you know, giant farm. Especially if you're using the quad chunk a technique that I showed in a previous tutorial. Uh, the quad chunk technique, uh does require some you know extensive storage so you know these kinds of storages you know you're gonna like these and basically yeah so that's pretty much all I have to say and that's it so oh well I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next tutorial, which I'm going to record after this. It's going to be about the dialogue. Alright, see ya.